What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode here on the PC Fun YouTube channel. As you can see, things are very green behind me. There's leaves on the trees. We have finally reached that period where we're going into that late spring and we're gonna be transitioning to that early summer fishing pattern. And so in today's video, what I'm gonna do is talk to you about some baits that maybe you have not tried for spring crappies. So there's that standard minnow, the standard gulp under a bobber, stuff like that. But today I wanna to teach you a few techniques, a few baits that maybe you've never even thought about trying for crappies in the spring. And I think once you hear me talk about these baits, you are gonna to wanna to go out and you're gonna to wanna to try them yourself. So stay tuned. We're gonna hop in the boat right here, jump right in and start talking crappie baits for the spring. All right, what is going on guys? Like I said, we are entering into that late spring, early summer transition where you have crappies, especially in the Midwest, all over the place that are either spawning or they're set up very close to their spawning areas. Now, what does that mean? That means that those fish are either gonna be sitting out in that five, six feet of water, maybe in a flat, maybe over a weed bed, and they're gonna be kind of close to that structure or those reeds or whatever they like to spawn on. These baits are going to help you catch more crappies and they're also gonna give you a little bit of a different approach. Sometimes all you gotta do is throw something a little bit different and you'd be amazed at how it can impact your success rate. So we're gonna jump right in and talk about our first bait right now. All right, guys, we have our first bait in hand. As you can see, we have a nice little pink marabou jig. Now that is what some might call a hair jig, but it's actually a feather jig. As you can see, there's some nice little soft feathers on the back of that thing right there. And we have got that below a nice little bobber. Now I cannot stress guys enough how important it is to number one, go with a small bobber, go with the littlest bobber that you can use and you can still see and keep a good float. That little bobber is gonna help you see a lot more of the bites. So many times, especially with crappies, they will come up and they will inhale your bait and you will never even realize you had a bite. So that tiny little strike indicator, that little bobber is gonna help you a ton. Another thing that I'm certain you guys probably can't see is the line that I have on here. Now, a lot of people, I believe, they just go too heavy on their line for panfish setups. At the end of the day, unless you're down south catching four pound crazy crappies, you don't need big heavy line. I am actually using two pound cigar fluorocarbon. This is it right here, guys. I'm using that two pound cigar ice fishing fluorocarbon. And that is plenty, plenty strong enough for you to catch crappies in the springtime. So this one I have paired with a 6-6 Serpent from PC Fun, and my favorite panfish reel of all time, the Carbon X 1000. Now this bad boy, you're gonna go out, you're gonna throw it, and you're just gonna twitch, 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 just enough to make that bobber rock on the surface, just enough to rock the bobber, real tiny twitches. And what that's gonna do is underneath the water, this little feather jig is just gonna be pop, pop, popping along and those crappies are gonna come up and most of the time you're gonna get an up bite, that bobber's gonna rock sideways or it might slightly go under if they take it down. That is our first bait. That little feather jig can be super deadly for crappies in the spring. All right, moving on to our next bobber setup. Now, the last setup that we have, actually the last couple of setups we have are not going to be bobber based. And I wanna show you guys some different things other than bobber fishing, because I feel when it comes to crappies, a lot of people really stick to those bobbers. So this one, you'll notice I have a little bit bigger of a bobber. Uh, and another thing you're always gonna notice on my bobbers is they're always gonna be weighted. You can see that right there, there's a little lead weight built into that bobber and that really helps on casting distance, especially when you're fishing those clear bodies of water. Sometimes those crappies can be a little bit finicky. So you wanna be able to make longer casts. On this setup guys, very, very similar. Uh, this one is a six foot ultralight and this is actually a PC Fun Flame. Very, very ultralight rod, very sensitive rod. I really, really like this setup for pan fishing. It's also great for inland trout, um, bluegills, perch, crappies, all that sort of thing. Um, but I am utilizing another ice fishing setup here, guys. So if you can take a look here, if you can see that, that is what you would call a tiny panfish spoon. Now, most of us are gonna use this for crappies in the winter time. We're gonna be jigging it in the winter time. But when you place it below a bobber like this and you twitch it, you get a nice little flash out of that spoon as you're working it across those flats or you're working it through that spawning area. 
and that is going to get you a lot more bites from some of those crappies. Sometimes what those crappies wanna see is just a little bit of flash. And as that thing is just moving and dancing around, that little bit of flash is really going to help you get more bites. Now when it comes to colors, I really like something like a pink, pink and white, chartreuse. Typical crappie colors are still going to be very good, but it's something that the crappies have not seen. A lot of crappies see the minnow, a lot of crappies see the gulp, um, but I can promise you not a lot of people are throwing around a little panfish spoon underneath a bobber, and it can be a super, super deadly way, especially to target those bigger, more aggressive fish. So if you've never tried an ice spoon under a bobber, I would highly recommend giving that a shot. All right, guys, now let's get into our casting setups, okay? So it's not always bobbers for crappies. A lot of times you can catch some monster, monster crappies doing some casting. So what I've got here is a tiny little swim bait from Eurotackle. Just show you that little guy right there. I've got it rigged up on a little spade shaped swim bait head. And that little guy right there is deadly. Now the beautiful thing is it has such a soft tail that this little tail, even at slow speed, slow rolling it, is gonna thump back and forth and it's really gonna entice those fish to bite. Now for this setup, I have gone with a little bit of a longer rod. And the reason is I would like to be able to go ahead and cast this just a little bit further. So this one that I have here is actually the Torrent. This is a 7-1. This is a medium light, but it fishes much, much more like a light. So medium light Torrent is much more like a light, has a very, very good flex. Uh, it's gonna allow me to hook those paper mouths when they bite that swim bait. Now, when you get a swim bait bite, you do have more of a tendency to rip really hard just because it's a reaction. Um, but that soft tip will help you keep that hook in those crappies mouths. Now, I really, really like a swim bait, especially when they're still in their pre-spawn because it allows you to make those casts and cover a lot of water. And a lot of times when they're in that pre-spawn mode, you have to figure out which bay they're sitting in, which patch of weeds. Casting a little swim bait like this guy will allow you to take that and fish a various vast amount of water, ultimately allowing you to pick it apart and find those fish. So that little swim bait, again, I have a Carbon X 1000. That is a beautiful, beautiful casting setup when it comes to spring crappies. Now, that's not the only thing that you can use. I've got a couple of other baits that I also really, really enjoy for casting. One of those is right here. That is the Eurotackle Z-Viber. So that little guy is basically the world's tiniest lipless crankbait. And same thing, you can cast that out, you can twitch it, you can pop it, and those crappies are gonna come up and they're gonna inhale that little bait right there. And it's a perfect, perfect minnow imitator, which as you know, if you're a crappie fisherman, crappies love minnows. So that little guy is also another great casting bait. And then last but not least, and this is one that I think a lot of people really don't use, is when you have those crappies that are kind of suspended out over the weeds or out in a little shallow flat or something like that, especially when you're chasing those 12 inch plus crappies, this bait is really deadly. That is just a tiny little Lucky Craft pointer. And it's a pointer SP, so it's a silent version, and it is perfect for sneaking up on those big crappies. And I cannot tell you how many big fish that I have caught in the last three years using this little bait. Um, you're gonna wanna throw it, same thing, really light line. I like a longer rod because I can bomb it out there and then just really gentle twitches. It just looks like a little minnow kind of going through the water and those big crappies absolutely love, 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 love that little tiny Lucky Craft pointer. So when it comes to casting baits, guys, don't be afraid to pick up a little swim bait, a Z-Viber um, or a little tiny jerk bait like that. You are going to get a lot more bites than if you just go with that traditional, you know, minnow under a bobber setup. So guys, in short, make sure you pick up a nice ultralight or light action rod. I usually use a braid, probably a four pound braid mainline. And then I link to that with either a two, three, four pound leader, depending on my situation. If I'm around cover, I'll bump it up to a four pound leader. Um, but otherwise, open water, most of the time you can get away with two pound and you will get more bites that way. So I hope some of these tactics and some of these techniques were new to you guys. And hopefully now it is the right time you can go out and practice with those things and hopefully put some more crappies in the boat this spring. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time we drop a video. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.
Christ.